and Noel obviously be very disappointed with the with the result. What did you consider? How did you think the performance was? I think that the third goal was a killer, wasn't it? It looks really poor now, 3-0. Uh, in terms of ourselves, I thought we acquitted ourselves well. I thought we were tight, we were compact. Uh, they had a large possession of the ball, obviously. Uh, uh, that was what you'd like would be the plan. We needed to counter. I thought we counted maybe five or six t- times uh, in creating five or six chances, really good chances. So you have to be happy with that. Uh, other times we didn't quite count as well as we could. These are a very, very good time team. Uh, I didn't, uh, maybe I could have made change. Maybe even when we had the corner, you could have taken the short corner and be setting them for two, but that's ridiculous. If we'd have got the, the goal from the last corner, it would have been 2 1, and I think everybody would have been happy with that. Were you happy enough the way, the, the, the shape of the team and the way that worked for you? I mean, it was a bit strange having players out of position, wasn't it? I think there was only one player out of position, but he's played there as a young boy and he's played there not so long ago as well. So he's played in that position. You know, when you play Germany, they're going to be working hard for the entire game. I thought uh, that's what we did. I thought we were solid enough. The deflection, when you do defend that day, you can get deflections from shots, that sort of stuff. It's unfortunate for the first goal. Um, and the second goal, we vacated the back the back line, which nobody did intentionally, but vacated, left it for a, a nice chip and a goal. And, and the last one was just hard to take. But overall, in terms of application, in terms of making progress, the boys tried very, very hard. They really put their, their, their whole effort into it. I, I couldn't make a change because I was happy with the way we were. And we were creating chances. So. I'm, overall, I'm not too displeased. I'm sick about losing and I'm sick about the score line. But so, them boys have really tried hard for Ireland and they can be proud of themselves tonight. To what extent did uh, Robbie Keane's injury change your mind about the way you were going to play? <laughs> and Anthony Pilkinen was a late withdrawal. Was, yeah, he, in your, was uh, he going to be in your look, starting 11? Yeah, uh, they, they, they may and they may not have been. Robbie probably would, would have started, there's no question. Um, we looked at Anthony, but it, once his injury became obvious, there's nothing we could do about that. That's not, I don't want to take any excuses. We had a smashing bunch of players out there who, as far as playing against a top team, and unfortunately considered the goal with a deflection the first one. How, as the game would have worn on, I think we might have got more confident, more confident, and then would have got a little bit more frustrated. We kept in the game until the 89th minute. It was 2-0 at the 89th minute, and they cleared one off the line. And the, uh, I don't know what minute, but a few minutes before that, Anthony Stokes has a chance to score. We had another chance to score at 2-0. You get back to 2-1, as far as I'm concerned, the boys kept the game alive till then. Boom, then it's all over. How frustrating was Anthony Stokes for you? Though? Because <laughs> he, he made chances, he had shots yeah. on target, but he also gave away that first goal, really, yeah, with a misplaced yeah. pass. Well, sometimes it happens to strikers. It was a pure mispass, all right, that's for sure. Uh, he knows that. He doesn't need to be told that. He knows that in another day he might score two or three tonight. Um, but that's what happens with strikers. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Away in Germany with that crowd, uh, that atmosphere, very intimidating. We acquitted ourselves well. There was a lot of talk this week about the DNA of the Irish footballer, about possession, about confidence. Do you think we're confident enough passing the ball, and, and how can we change that? Well, in all truth, there's no way we could outpass Germany. Not a hope in hell. And I think you can throw in about 50, 60, maybe 100 countries. We wouldn't have a hope. We've put in a good performance here against in Cologne in an intimidating circumstance. That could have been 2-1. OK, could have been. Could have been. So I'm proud of the boys. Uh, I'm disappointed myself. Would it change something different? I don't think so. I think I'd still still do that because we were threatening all the time to get to get one on the count. Because of the opposition, is it a question of trust that you didn't throw in Andy Reid or Wes Hoolan even for a few minutes? Well, I did. I, I, I could have done that, but I would have thought that would have been a sop. I thought the boys had battled so hard for the 90 minutes, 94 minutes, that uh, they deserved to stay on the park. We could have uh, made a substitute, wasted a bit of time, and it would be 2-0. Could have taken a shot, and it would be 2-0. I would fully encourage them to have a go. We got count the co- cut on the counter from... Uh, the last corner where we're pushing on and pushing on I completely understand with the players, no problem whereas previously we would always keep ourselves compact and have spare people behind for that no problem, really proud of the lads and that's, that's the way it goes okay, no, Thank you very much Thanks. for Thanks. Thanks.